Well, and it is Pentober Day 1! Yay! I'm so excited to be kicking off the month of October with you doing pins every single day. Since it's Wednesday, it is Wedding Wednesday! Spot. She gives this the tutorial for DIY lace vase. The first thing that you're going to need is a plain mason jar. You want one that does not have the ball or the Kerr logo on it. So a plain clear quart mason jar or any size that you feel like doing. Next you're going to find a piece of lace. So a spool of lace that's several inches wide. You want it at least probably two inches if not three inches in width. Your first step is going to be to take your mason jar and mark or eyeball or somehow for you to know how big how wide that lace is around it. You're going to mark that and you're going to take glitter paint. Now I use the same one that she recommended on the blog. This is a Martha Stewart Crafts multi-surface glitter and it is in the copper color. You can use whatever color you fancy. So you take your little brush, you dab it on there, and you just start dabbing it randomly anywhere that that lace is going to be. Your next step is to take the actual piece of lace and wrap it around and then secure it with a piece of tape. I realized that my own lace I already got rid of so I can't show you my lace, um, but it was just about two and a half inches and it was worked for my project. After the lace is on, you're going to spray paint it. You can paint it whatever color you wish. I chose a semi-gloss in white, um, which I believe is what she did on her website. So you go outside, you set your jar down, and you're going to just spray paint the whole entire thing and you're going to let it dry. And you're going to remove the lace right after you spray paint it though very carefully because you don't want it to stick when it's drying. After it's dry it's all done and it should look something like this. <laughs> As you can see that you can I did a couple of them they all came out a little bit differently some of them are not completely sprayed um, at the top um, some of the lace you can see the pattern better than others they all come out differently. I chose to then use just these little flickering lights that I found at either Joann's or Michael's, I'm not sure, and I put them inside a jar, tried to center them, and then this is what they looked like on stage. They turned out really nice since I didn't want candles at my wedding. This was a great compromise. It had the candle light um, and it looked a little bit vintagey and sparkly and really cute. And it worked for me. So this is the DIY Lace Face and you can check out Michaela's blog below for the, her actual instructions. And I hope you found this helpful. If you ever made decorations for your wedding or are making them now, let me know what you're doing in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Do it yourself.